Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday, the 22nd of March and Friday, the 23rd, 2018. As usual, to wrap up the week, we don't typically do a market preview Thursday going into Friday, so this will suffice for both days. Most of what we expect during the week usually plays out by the time we get through Thursday. Uh, we did have the Fed announcement today. The market kind of shook both ways but closed at lows. We'll go through all the majors and look at the data that's coming out. Uh, for the rest of the week and look at the inter week or interday action from today as well. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. Still hanging around the 50% retracement of the drop. So really nothing there to say. Crude oil, uh-oh, up two bucks to 65.55 and back near those highs. Nice high range base breakout for a potential or for a potential breakout anyways. Gold closes up 18.2. S&P cash down five. An outside engulfing day. NDX, the NASDAQ 100, down 32.47. Don't forget, we talked about the floating island, that one, two, three, four, five, six day floating island uh, that we gapped down on uh, Monday. Left that up there. We still are under. We haven't triggered. The way to trigger that is to break under Monday's lows. So that'll be interesting to watch. That will actually trigger the floating island, uh, which is a negative for the market. Socks up two, biotechs up three. Not a big deal there. The VIX. Uh, closes down 0.34. Uh, the trend closes at 0.92. That puts the 10 day moving average at 1.11. NASDAQ volume 1.9 billion shares. Again, very light like the day before. Interesting. It was really light early, like we had a volume warning because everybody was waiting for the Fed. Advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ plus 261. Advanced decline ratio on the New York plus 460. By the way, both 10 day moving averages on the advanced declines are almost exactly zero. Google down a buck eighty at the close. Apple down three ninety seven. That's a big negative close for Apple. Low of the last month. Amazon down four sixty five, which is still very near the all time highs. Netflix down one point oh two dollar two cents. Tesla gains five ninety eight. TLT the twenty year bond ETF gains thirteen cents on the news of the Fed. And Goldman Sachs down a buck thirty four. Here's the intraday action. This will be the interesting part. Five minute candles. So we opened flat. We were flat. Uh, all for the first hour and a half, it was just a complete bust. There was no volume. Everybody's waiting for the Fed. We pop up over lunch and then go flat again. The Fed announcement comes out. We kind of shake both ways, and then we kind of headed up initially. Um, as the Fed talks about, they raise the rates, and they're looking at three and for the year. Then we sell off sharply all the way down to lows, bounce back to the VWAP, and then sell off one more time, and in the aftermarket, sold off even more. Uh, let's look at the NASDAQ side, which paints... Very similar picture, but it cut a little bit more under yesterday's lows and that big drop right there. This looks like a negative for the market, obviously. Like I said, that floating island is a big deal. And if we break under Monday's lows on Thursday, that could be, I think Thursday could be the better trading day of the week. In terms of economic data still coming out this week, we've got the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims an hour before the bell tomorrow on Thursday. Housing price index at 9. Uh, manufacturing PMI and services PMI at 9.45 a.m. CB leading index at 10. Natty Gas at 10.30. Friday, we've got uh, Core Durable Goods an hour before the bell and new home sales 30 minutes in. This weekend, we have a time change in Europe. We already did it here in the U.S., and we'll get to the market preview over the weekend. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our, ser your, our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Thursday and Friday.